right. Well, it was a rescue mission that stopped the nation. In 2006, an underground emergency left two Beaconsfield miners, three in fact, trapped nearly a kilometre below the surface for two weeks. Two survived. Todd Russell and Brant Webb became household names after the emergency services discovered they'd survived an earthquake that crumbled a gold mine. Koshi was there every step of the way with Mel, but there's another part to this story that Australians have never been told until now. This field still stands out in my mind for a, a number. It was more than just a story because you know, one of our viewers was trapped down there um, in, in Todd Russell. And um, this guy was trapped underground and he would be sending up notes through the rescue team. They used to send notes down that tube to Todd of what had happened on sunrise that day to keep his spirits up. He would... <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get through this. I know. Um, he would send notes back up saying, uh, sledging me, uh, saying, could we pop around to see his mum and dad and his wife and kids? When we were off air, we would pick the kids up from school. We would hang around in Todd's parents' kitchen. When they came out, um, I'll never forget that day. We were driving, we were staying in Launceston at a hotel. It was about three o'clock in the morning. We were driving to the site and outside the mine was like a massive media village from around the world. So we got to this media village, which was completely black, four o'clock in the morning, preparing to go on air. And we went straight on air and said they'd been rescued. And all of a sudden that media village lit up and the, <laughs> the world's media is hanging outside a Sunrise location. They have walked out. That is them. Brant Webb and Todd Russell are on the surface. <laughs> it was the incredible moment Australia had been waiting for. Brant Webb and Todd Russell free after a fortnight below ground. One of the, the rescue team was a paramedic, uh, Pete. Um, who rang and said, uh, Todd has said he wants you at the gate. Um, I'll be driving his ambulance and the side door will be open. Todd wants to say thanks for hanging out with the panel. Mate, you took your time. Hey, How are you? Good, good to see you. Look, mate, How are you feeling? For you. Oh, are you take sure? It. It's just wonderful. It's I'm never going to meet it again. Catch up and have a beer. Thanks, Bossy. This is Fantastic. something I will treasure forever. Um, Todd Russell's identity tag that he that he took off the off the board. And Todd Russell, Brant Webb and first responder Peter James join us now on the couch in the studio. Welcome wow. back to the show. Fellas, good to see you. Now, this see is pretty you. special, isn't it? It sure Todd, is. Todd, how does it make you feel all these years later to look back at those shots? Yeah, look, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing um, to... You know, sit back here and look at that footage after 17 years and, you know, I still remember the day we come out and Koshi was there and I invited him into the ambulance and, and give him that tag, so it's a pretty special moment to be back here today. Mm. Yep. yep. Brant, I get emotional every time I see that footage. This tag is still one of my most treasured possessions. How have you done since coming out of good. mine? Because yeah. what you got, what you mm. two went through, Mm. Remind us, how long were you down there for? Oh, just a couple of weeks. It doesn't seem a long time, but um, when you're buddy, when you're very close <laughs> in a confined space, it's a, mm. yep. a very long time. You're in a little cage, yeah. which was how big? Uh, what was it about? Six foot by, by four, four nine. foot? By. Yeah, 900. It was, four, yeah. it was 1.4 square. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow, for a couple so, of weeks. Yeah, so it was only 321 hours, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> In the dark, mm. not knowing. Do you yeah, remember? Do you remember yeah. how fearful you were down there? Yeah, no, it was, it was funny because um, the the fear was actually um, at the start. When it, it, that was that was the problem. Um, thought he was covered in rock. Um, I'd be knocked out. It was um, coming round. Uh, the worst nightmare for a miner is uh, covered in rock. 
Yeah. Actually, to be alive is even worse because you're going to have a slow, painful death. But um, if they can't get you out, and if they do get you out, nine out of ten times you're going to die. So it's a big deal. Um, that's why we were such a sensation because we actually lived through you know, a hundred tonne of rock on top of us. So yeah. that was the, um, the hard bit. The, um, the, I suppose the euphoric bit was actually getting out, well, getting found. And then we went through this huge roller coaster of emotions because they couldn't get us out straight away. Yeah. Mm. So, so they, they, chucked a, they chucked a pipe down, didn't they? So you could yeah, get they air. They drilled the pipe down. And, and, and they put little plastic sort of pouches of food. No, we had everything was brought down in a water bottle. In a water bottle? Yeah, with this, with, well, how long was that? 16 metre bit of conduit or something to push it down the hole. And yeah, it was. If it, um, it fitted in the water bottle, it would fit down the tube. Yeah. Correct. Because, yeah. Peter, you were, you were part of the, the rescue team, weren't you? The yeah, paramedic yeah, team. Yeah, there was a number of yeah. paramedics that worked underground and. Um, it was to keep their mental and physical health yep. up to scratch as much as possible. Yep. So we were driving from Launceston to the, the mine site, middle of the night, three o'clock, um, and I got, got a call um, from Peter uh, on the drive there saying we've got them, didn't you? And, yep. and you had it all planned out, you two. We'd discussed that underground for some time. Um, um, Todd wanted to give a tag to you. <clears throat> and um, it was a case of just meeting the right people to pass the message. And um, as it was, Chris Reason was at a coffee shop. And that's where I told him, you know, the side of the ambulance to get into is on the left-hand side. You need to be on that side. And by chance, I was the fresh crew that we did alternate after, uh, night shifts. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And so I ended up driving. And so the thing was, you know, I see you. So you guys, you know, hey, yeah. Todd, there they are. Stop the yeah. ambulance. And keep, yeah. And I remember you said to me, I've got to keep the door open. Yep. And yeah. uh, but it, ever since that time, <laughs> I've been accused of being <laughs> the a ambulance bloody chaser. ambulance chaser. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right for you to laugh, Brad. I'm going, I'm going what, do, what do I say? <laughs> you know, to people. Todd, why did you call him into the ambulance and give him your tag? <laughs> oh, look. I've always been a Sunrise fan and, um, you know, when I come off night shift, I go home and sit down, have my breakfast, watch the sunrise before I go off to bed. And in the initial stages of our rescue after being found alive, we didn't realise what the hype of Beaconsfield was. And, you know, I remember saying to Brandy at one stage, do we make the local newspaper, which is the examiner? Uh, not, <laughs> not knowing that, um, you know, um, the hype of, of Beaconsfield at the time. And when I found out that the media contingency was there and Koshy was there, I said to Peter James, I said, if I can use this word, make sure that fat bastard's there when I get out. <laughs> 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 and I was. You've given me this. It's still in pristine condition, mate. I think you need it back. But it was uh. what, it was a highlight yeah. of my career. Mm. Being there for you guys and getting to know Pete. It was it's some of the, the lifelong memories and experiences that I will treasure till the day I die. It was a mm. mixture of a birthday, a christening, a wedding and, every, and Christmas day and all were mi mixed in together, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, It was yeah, an incredible exactly. story. It was had a funny he sort of deal. <laughs> had a funny deal after the um, accident. This uh, professor from the Monash University rang me and said, any problem, you call us because I've got a team of people that know everything, right? <laughs> so I rang him up and I said, mate, I said, a couple of days later, I said, I think I'm gifted. He said, why is that, Brent? I said, mate, you wouldn't believe it. I said, I could see in the dark down when I was trapped underground. He said, oh, right. He said, and um, how long are we doing this for? And I said, oh, good six days. And he said, that's not a bad hallucination, six days, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? He said, that's how, you oh, keep the, that's how the mind keeps you yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. takes a photo and replays exactly. it. Exactly. It was, it was fantastic story. because, you know, we found Thank out it wasn't Thank you for so much yeah. for coming in. Really yeah. appreciate if it. I, if I can just say one thing, yeah. Koshy, it's, uh, it's a lot of mixed emotions for me to get this back from you today, um, knowing that when I gave it to you on that day, um, I only had three tags and I've only got three children. So to get this one back makes three, yeah. Yeah. for one each for my kids. Yeah. But in exchange for this, yeah. I've got another gift that I want to give to you oh. today. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's something that uh, <laughs> Brant and I um, Oh, wow. I'm actually wearing a morning, Koshy. Oh, the belt buckle? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> what, you two got the maid? We had the maid back in 2007. Six. No, in a six, six, seven. Six. Right. In right. Six, and yeah. uh, everybody that was um, part of the rescue underground received one of them. Oh, that's oh. beautiful. And um, Lydia, Lydia I happened to, read read have, the, a, uh, I happened to have a spare one at home, which was mine, and uh, that's for you. Oh, mate. Thank you so yeah. much. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, guys, for coming up. Really appreciate it. Big shout out for the grandkids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jasper and Rachel. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah.